Here we are again avec les nils, or the specialty van der Falcatas that I have in my collection or that I still have, maybe won't have for that much longer. This is not exactly a video I want to do, not along the lines or the format of what I am about to do, probably am about to discover together with you. However, when I get a suggestion in the comments like Eternal Travel provided me with, I like to at least give it a go. If feasible. You always give me such great suggestions in the comments and I can't really implement them because of my conditions and the way I grow my orchids etc. However when a suggestion comes through that actually I can try to implement to help an orchid or orchids along, I can't ignore it. So let's see if my Shutano and I also have my Goja Fukurin here. Mm, let's see what we are gonna find. Talk about being reluctant, <laughs> but seeing as you're on this side of the intro, thank you so much for being here. I am not very hopeful about my Falcata Schutenor because I have been losing leaf after leaf after leaf. And when the roots go like this from the stem, that means that we've got stem rot. However, I still have good roots in the pot when I squeeze this one, it's nice. When I squeeze this one, it's nice. And that's why I didn't want to touch this orchid. I just thought, let it go. I don't like to interfere with orchids that are not doing well, because that's another added point of stress. Anyway, Eternal Traveler told me that maybe my orchids were too wet. And I would agree with them because... I've had a very humid summer, but on the other hand, I haven't been watering as much either because Ceramis is an extremely water retentive medium. So if I don't add water and we have high humidity, ah, you know, my head was going, it's going to be fine. I'm balancing it out. And the stem was not anywhere in the media. It's like, ugh. Anyway, let's get her out. I don't see much hope for this orchid at all. But. Eternal Traveler said to me, keep them drier, use lava rock. Strange that all season I've been rescuing languishing orchids with lava rock and it never occurred to me to do anything with these guys. But you see, I still have these two good roots here. It's probably only a matter of time until I don't have them anymore. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to try and stay matter of fact. I did promise myself that whatever happens from here on in, I'm just going to be very matter of fact about it. I'm not going to get emotional about it. And then you come across, let's say, <laughs> a van der Falkata Schutano that had been doing quite well, was progressing well, and then suddenly was being the key word. So, yeah. I think I am going to do the lava rock with this one, even though I'm reluctant. You know, I'm at the point where I'm just thinking, why try again? That would be attempt number four. The orchid looked so much better six months ago. I have to empty this media out. I need the pot. Let's look at Gojo Fukurin. I doubt there's any roots in here. Yes, I've just watered this pot. It was quite dry, so... That's just in case there was a, something active and nice looking in the pot. I didn't want to rip on it. <laughs> but you see, oh, this looks actually super sus. As if something went for that bit of root. Huh. Anyway, it's trying a new leaf, but it lost a lot of leaves as well. We are going to put it into lava rock. I'm going to do... The recommendation, the suggestion of Eternal Traveler Justice, seeing, like I said, if I can implement recommendations from you guys, I will give it a go. Otherwise, my conscience just wouldn't leave me alone. And on top of that, it's not fair on you either when you give me recommendations that I can implement and then I just ignore it. The what ifs would be lurking in my brain like forever. So I'm just going to clean up the pots. I'll be right back. All that I'm going to do here is just put them into lava rock. Same pots, semi-hydro, lava rock, but a drier environment. And if you would like to stick around for that, I would appreciate it. It means a lot to me that you're here. It helps the channel out tremendously. And while I clean everything up, a like would be amazing. Thank you. I'll be right back.
Before we pot the two up into lava rock, let me show you the Kibana in Ceramis. It's doing really well. And I'm going to stick with it because everything's fine in here. I'm not going to disturb the roots or anything. This root looks brown, but it is super duper firm. So it's working. And the little fan that is extremely slow to grow, well, these specialty ones are extremely slow to grow, which is a problem when it comes to recovering them, but it's okay. So I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to disturb it. I may even, hello. <laughs> There may even be a root circling back up and out right there. Yeah, just to show you that I still got Cubana and it's looking pretty good. So let's get these other ones potted up. And thank you so much for liking the video while I was cleaning the pots. I appreciate that very, very much. Okay, seeing as Gojo Fukurin does not have any roots to speak of, there's no real potting up that needs to be done. What I'm going to do is make sure that either I stabilize it somehow, if that's at all possible, just with lava rock, or I just lean it up against and see what happens next. Let's just try and stabilize it and see if we can achieve that. That's all I'm going to do. <laughs> ah. That's all I'm going to do. It's, it's standing all by its lonesome and that one root will be touching. This is clean lava rock. Why am I seeing this? Not acceptable. That's going to have to go through the cleaning process and sterilization process again. Okay, here's another one. Huh. Maybe I boiled them a little bit too hard. The minerals in the lava rock itself is leaching. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. I've been forgetting sometimes I've got things on the boil. All right, Gojo Fukurin is done. Told you it's going to be pretty straightforward, and I'm still glad that you are here for it. <laughs> now, Shutano, yeah, we've got some potting up, sort of potting up to do. I've already filled the base to the drainage holes. Not sure if I want it that high. Yes, I want it that high. Now that we've got it there, I'm not going to take anything out. At least the roots there will be very close to the reservoir. Something the Velayman is accustomed to, so I don't want to be changing too much of that. It's about, you know, stopping roots from doing this at the base. Look, if in the next video you only see two specialty falcatas, you will know, you will be in the know as to what happened and Shutano will be gone. There's a doubt very, very much. I'm going to do another video saying, Shutano is gone. <laughs> Oops, those are the salty ones. Don't use those. Hang on a second. Not that it really makes any difference seeing as they're dead, but just for me as a control measure, if anything else were to die, at least I know it's gonna die and then I don't get confused myself as I observe what happens next with this orchid. And what I'm going to do is not fill the reservoir, but I'm going to mist the pots down just to keep the roots wet. I have very, very low humidity at the moment. I can't believe it. It's fall, but I've got 10% humidity. But what I do have in my mister is RO water with tannins. I steeped a tea bag, one black tea bag, overnight in my bucket of just plain RO water and letting the tannins just leach into the water. So I've been, I'm gonna be using that for this. Tannins and orchids and all that stuff is kind of a root growth promoter. And thankfully it's a warm enough day, I can leave these outside, especially as you're probably thinking, well, if you've got stem rot, what are you doing with the mister? It's warm. They're gonna stay out here until it's time to bring them inside later on. It's a bit of a conundrum trying to water something that is very, very, delicate with no roots at the stem. It's damned if you do and damned if you don't. But yeah, do we have a Vanda down? I predict this one is not going to be around the next coming week. I hope I'm wrong. This one, yeah, it 
maybe, maybe. But I do want to thank Eternal Traveler, who had the foresight to know what I'm dealing with, what I'm up against, what media I have to work with, and give me this suggestion, because sometimes I cannot see the forest for all the trees, and I am in a rut, and I'm going through my own personal motions, despite doing things with other orchids that I would have been able to do with these, the moment I started seeing the problem, and still I don't, because I do stick by principles of not disturbing orchids, that are going downhill don't want to stress them out well let's find out if these orchids go it's not because of the suggestion of eternal traveler it will be 100 percent because of the media the conditions and me not getting after it soon enough gotta love hibiki just puts a smile on your face when everything else sounded so serious <laughs> I am a little concerned about how high Shutano is out of the pot because if that orchid recovers, where are the roots going to go? How am I going to cope? Anyway, fingers crossed. We shall see, eternal travelers. Thank you so, so much for the supporting comment and thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate your time. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video you choose to watch. Have yourself a fabulous day on that one condition though, please, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.